Today, we will be talking about the Pipkin classification for femoral head fractures. This classification has four types. But before we get into the types, I would just like to review a bit of anatomy to help with the understanding of the terminology I will use when it comes to the types of fracture patterns. The fovea, as you can see here, is a small depression on the surface of the femoral head. It serves as the attachment point for the ligamentum teres femoris. But with that laid out, let's get right into type 1. This will involve a fracture that occurs inferior or below the fovea. Pipkin 2 or type 2 will involve a fracture that extends superior to the fovea capitis. Then for the next two types, they simply build upon the first two. So for a Pipkin 3, you will have either a type 1 or a type 2 fracture with an associated femoral neck fracture. And for type 4, you will either have a type 1 or type 2 fracture with an associated acetabulum fracture. All in all, this is a pretty straightforward classification to learn, and it is a great one to know and be familiar with come rotations.